Are you considering buying a home but have no clue on where to begin? Are you renting and tired of paying somebody else's mortgage? Or have you simply thought, hey, can I afford a home? Well, today, I'm gonna to show you three quick steps to get you on the pathway to home ownership. This is Broker Craig with Hilltop Realty. Welcome back everyone. This is Broker Craig with Hilltop Realty and today, we're going to be talking about three easy ways to get you in a home. Step one, call a lender. You wanna call someone you feel comfortable with, like a friend or a family, refer you to someone they trust. If you're on the fence about purchasing a home and you're just curious on what you can afford, you can ask the lender for a soft pre-approval, okay? And pretty much what that is, is they're gonna ask you some general questions about your income, about how much you're already currently paying for rent, um, and they're gonna be asking about your liabilities, your, your car, um, any uh, credit cards, or um, any other type of loans, uh, et cetera, that might be outstanding. And what that is, they're gonna be able to calculate your debt to income ratio, your DTI, and they can give you a rough estimate ballpark figure on how much of a home you can afford overall and what monthly mortgage you can pay. Now here's the kicker. A soft pre-approval doesn't require a credit check. Step two, get pre-qualified. All right, now you're at the point where you're just tired of throwing money away on rent and you're ready to go forward. You have your finances ready to go, they're on lock, and um, you're confident about your credit report and so on and so forth. For the pre-qualification, the lender's gonna need a few forms. Two months of most recent bank statements, last two years of tax returns, three most recent pay stubs. So at this point, the lender's gonna run your credit. This is where all the skeletons come out of the closet. They're gonna check um, any loans, any liabilities, outstanding debts that you may have, and that's how they're really gonna determine your DTI, your debt to income ratio, which is the um, precursor to getting you a range of where you can afford, what homes. And it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run rather than looking at tons of homes online before you get pre-qualified and you're looking at $500,000, $600,000 homes. And after everything's said and done, come to realize that you are in the 350 to 400 range. For most loans, a credit score of 620 is required for FHA and VA. If the lender runs your credit and you're not quite there yet at the 620, it's not the end of the world. Most lenders are gonna be able to advise you on how to take care of small things on your credit report and be able to get those improved um, or taken off or up in current so you're able to go um, and get that credit score up to the mark you need it within 30 to 60 days usually. Now, if your credit needs some heavy lifting, most lenders have services or resources that you can reach out to and those methods usually take anywhere between three to 12 months, sometimes longer, depending whether or not you're able to keep yourself on track and on plan with, uh, with those resources. Step three, direct underwriting approval, also known as DU approval. Direct underwriting means is essentially a direct lender is approving you for the funds. They're pretty much giving you a blank check to go ahead and go out with a real estate agent and go purchase your home. Steps two and three can be done within hours. If you have your finances on lock and ready to roll and you've listened to this video and you know what to expect. Now, you've been pre qualified you have your direct underwriting approval, you have your blank check ready to go, what do you do now? You call us. This is where we step in, help you out to go find your dream home. Thanks for watching. This is Broker Craig with Hilltop Realty, your real estate resource. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell for future videos.